Are you maybe traveling through Bernie, thinking about going to Bernie, looking for a good place to eat outside of San Antonio? Well, today I wanna to tell you about some of my favorite places to eat right in downtown Bernie. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Serving San Antonio. I'm Christine Johnson with Fathom Realty. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about some of my personal favorites and some that are mentioned from my friends that I may not have been to, but I have heard great things about, and I felt that I should share that with you. Okay, so in no particular order of my favorites, I'm going to start with this first one. The first one is Dodging Duck. Dodging Duck is an outside restaurant located right across the street from the river, so it's a really pretty view. There's lots of people down there. It's mostly sitting outside, so prepare to be outside. There is very minimal seating inside and it's mostly at the bar area. If you're coming with a large family, be prepared to sit outside. Now, some of my favorite things about this place is it's German food. They have big giant pretzels with the sausage and the mustard if you're just looking for a snack. If you're looking for a sandwich, they've got some great paninis. I personally like their cob salad. And of course, you know, the thing that brings me there the most is their beer. They have really good beer. And if they have the peach beer on tap, you've got to try it. Now, pro tip, if you go up to the bar or you ask your server, may I try the peach beer? They're going to probably bring you a whole beer. So you might want to say, can I please have a sample of the beer before I decide whether or not I want to get it? Okay, so next up is Peggy's on the Green. So if you're looking for a date night, Peggy's might be the place to go if you want a good steak or a really nice piece of salmon, good drinks, great atmosphere, I highly suggest Peggy's. Peggy's is on the up, more upscale end of things, so it's not something that I frequent often. I have only been there two times on special occasions, but I thought it was worth a mention because I know a lot of people uh, really enjoy going there and it's a, a pretty big staple here in Bernie, so check it out if you can. Now this next little gem is called Compadres. Compadre started out as a veteran-owned food truck. He serves Mexican and Tex-Mex. So my two favorite things there are the gigantic nachos and the brisket. I do remember the brisket being very good and my husband always does the ordering, so I just eat it. But nachos were delicious and you can share them with a large group. Pro tip, get there early. Like what I mean by that is get there when they open or shortly after because once they run out of food, they close. So if you're planning on going, you know, two hours after they open, they might not be open. Don't say I didn't warn you, get there early. Okay, next up is Cypress Grill. Now, I will fully admit I have never been here. However, this is a big staple in downtown Bernie, and because so many people tell me how great it is, I felt that I needed to mention it to you because there are a lot more people that have more flexibility than I do to get to these types of places. Okay, so the reason I heard about the Cypress Grill was because my dentist said he came out there to go for some barbecue at Cypress Grill. And I'm like, I've heard of that place, but I don't feel like it's a barbecue place. Well, it's not. It's an upscale restaurant and wine bar that serves steaks, seafood, and vegetarian food. And they have a huge wine list to pick from. And they'll also do pairings of wine for you. I wasn't wrong about the barbecue. I did do some research on this, and apparently Texas Meat Company barbecue comes to Cypress Grill from 11 to three on Sundays, and it's apparently delicious. So it might be worth a try going over there if you're into some barbecue. Okay, next up, Soft Wing Bar. I feel like this one gets forgotten, and even I sometimes forget it because it's not right downtown on the Strip. I need to make a point to go here more. I usually go there more during the NFL season because they do have the NFL ticket, and I can't be watching any Ravens games at these Dallas bars. So I really like going there to watch all of the games at the same time. It's known for its wings, it's a little more for the locals. They have a really, really good smoked old fashioned that you have to try. My favorite food there are their nachos. I know, I keep saying nachos, but I really like nachos, but these nachos are not like any other kind. I think they make their own chips and they're like these strips of chips and I just can't explain it. They are delicious. If you don't try them, I'm coming for you. And duh, their name is Sauced Wing Bar. They were voted Bernie's number one place to get wings. Okay, Mary's Tacos. I know I've mentioned Mary's Tacos before, but I'm gonna keep mentioning them because Mary's Tacos has the best tacos. And they are so busy on the weekends that you can't even get through on the phone. So pro tip, go online, do your order online, and then go and pick it up. You just walk in, pick it up, 
easy peasy. Check out Mary Sackles. Hambies. Now Hambies has only been here, I think they're actually getting ready to celebrate their one year anniversary. And at first I was a little bit skeptical because I'm, I'm weird. I don't eat hamburgers that aren't off the grill at, at a barbecue. And so I was like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna eat that. Um, I don't know why, it's just mentally it was weird to me. But I went, I tried them, they are smash burgers, which was a new thing that for me as of a couple years ago too. And I won't eat a burger another way besides a smash burger. So go to Hamby's and get a burger. Also, if you have your kids there or you just like shakes in general, they have really good milkshakes. So for dessert, grab a shake to go. Next up, Botero. This place is a small Spanish tapas restaurant located on a side street off of downtown Main Bernie. And it is one of my favorites to go to because number one, I love their lavender sangria. So I'll just go in there just for the sangria and get a little one to go and just be on my way going shopping. But I'll also go in there because on Friday nights they have uh, a little van that they set up outside on their tiny little patio. I will tell you, it is a very small place. It's very quaint, that's what I like about it. But I never know what I'm ordering and that's what I kind of like. Like, I can't even read the menu. And it's all tapas, so I'm like, well, I'm just gonna point there and that's what I'm getting. The other day I got a bunch of chickpeas inside of a, you know, with some cheese. I, I didn't think that's what I was getting, but that's what I got and it was good. Um, but I, I think that's the fun of it. So if you go with your group of people or your family, maybe you can just, you know, get a bunch of them and, and try it since it is very small place. So Botero, try it, downtown Bernie. Cibolo Creek Brewery. Cibolo Creek is also a brewery, but it has really amazing food. They have a more farm to table kind of vibe, so their food is really fresh and amazing, as well as their beer. Their beer is very good. They have outside seating, they have inside seating, so if it's too hot, go inside or sit outside and enjoy just watching Main Street. I love their hummus, if they still have it. I know they go on and off with their hummus, and their sweet potato fries are delicious. But again, you can't go wrong. Oh, and their, their tacos are pretty good too. So. Um, like I said, I've eaten there a few times and I have never been disappointed with anything that I've gotten. So check out Cibolo Creek. Inferno's Pizza. Inferno's is probably one of the ones we frequent more often because we're always over at the soccer field and it's right across and we're trying to feed kids after. But keep in mind, it is across from a soccer field. So it is very, very busy. So if you're going in there and you're looking for a quick in and out, that's not the place to go. But if you're going there and you're prepared to relax, Drink your beer, watch your kids play, hang out. Uh, highly recommend it. They have great pizza. Um, some of our favorites are the pizza chips. Um, we get those as an appetizer. And then of course the pizza. The pizzas are delicious. And so if you're going, you gotta try it. Uh, oh, and they do have really good salads there too. I will say that. So you, they have stuff, if you wanna eat healthy, you can eat healthy there too. Um, but it is kid friendly, but just keep in mind, there are a lot of people that, that tend to go there. So, but it never stops us. Okay, I just have a few more that I wanna mention. Uh, one more that I've been to and two that are just brand new. Um, the last one is Trey Pizzeria. This place has really good pizza. It is apparently made in a, in a skillet. Um, at least that's what I read online, but I didn't know that until after I had had it. You have to go there, check out their pizza, but if you're hungry, th that pizza is small, so you could probably eat the whole thing. I know I ordered one, I shared a slice with my kids each of my kids, but I could have eaten the whole thing. So um, prepare for it to be more of a personal pan because it's very thin. Uh, their Caesar salads are really good. Um, I actually have not had a bad experience there and they're only just brand new. So check out Trey Pizzeria. And the last two I'm gonna talk about, I have zero experience going there. However, um, they are two places that just opened. Mm, well, one of them just opened a couple weeks ago. One of them has been open for a little bit. They're a little bit further outside of Bernie down and off 46. So if you're willing to travel a little bit further, um, I have not heard any bad feedback. Um, Indulge is a wine bar. And so they are also small plates and they have wine, but if you don't like wine, they also have other spirits uh, there as well. So they are very inviting and open to all sorts of types of people that have um, different palates and maybe wine's not their thing. So. Indulge, I would try that. I'm gonna check that out for a happy hour one day because I don't wanna bring my children in. So that is not a place I would bring my kids. And the last one is called Dark Side Pizza. They just opened on May 4th. Coincidentally, it has the Star Wars theme in it. It is a 70s theme pizza place. I will be going there and checking it out. I hear it's not necessarily kid-friendly, but 
I heard that from friends that have really little kids. So I think if you have older kids, you'd be okay. Like, you know, seven and up. I would highly uh, recommend checking that out, especially just for the um, the fun and cool inside atmosphere that, that they have there. Um, I've heard it's great and I will be checking that out. Well, everybody, that's all that I've got for you. Those are some of my favorite places to eat in Bernie, Texas. And I hope you'll find some time to go check them out and give me some feedback. If you want to know my personal favorites or you have any specific questions about the restaurants, feel free to call or text me. Uh, happy just to answer those questions for you. So thanks for watching another episode of Serving San Antonio. I'll see you next time.